our young people don't have a lot of hope. Um, they don't have a lot of positive reinforcements out there. Um, a lot of the adults are not mentoring kids the way they used to. Tonight, we are hearing from city and community leaders on how to break the cycle of youth violence in Columbus. This week, two teenagers were arrested for a shooting and robbery in Wyland Park last week, and two more are charged in connection with another shooting that left a teenager dead. Hello to you, everybody. Thanks for being with us tonight at 11. I'm Carrie Charles. And I'm Sierra Johnson in for Colleen Marshall this week. The Columbus Urban League is trying to interrupt this kind of violence before it happens by working directly with youth and getting to the root of the cause. NBC4's Isabel Cleary shows us how and what they say some of the violence stems from. The Columbus Urban League says some tragic situations like the shooting that happened at the Easton Town Center are examples of generational trauma being passed down. It's a cycle the nonprofit is working to break. When you look at the tragic situation that happened at Easton, you have a generation of generational poverty that existed. You had uh, generational uh, gang related uh, activities. President and CEO of the Columbus Urban League says this can lead to an eruption of violence. You have a father who was a gang member uh, and um, who is now deceased in the last couple of months. You have a brother who um, has now recently been incarcerated. At this point, it's, it's what more do we need to do? Everything will be on the table. Everything is on the table when it comes to keeping young people safe. And all, all I'm asking for is partnership. Columbus City Council President Shannon Hardin says it's a call to the entire community, parents, teachers, religious and community leaders. What more can we do if we're all upset and we're all moved? How do we use these two young lives as a catalytic moment to get better. One way the Columbus Urban League is trying to help families is through violence intervention workers in neighborhoods and schools. They're also thinking about adding resources to monitor social media where they can spot the issues before it comes to violence. But how do we really gain um, a true partnership with schools and with principals and with the safety officers so that if they know something's going on, then we can reach out or they can reach out to us and we can go in and, and start with prevention strategies. Other things the league is looking at include reducing bullying, improving parent engagement and involvement, and looking at other ways to help all areas of the family. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Isabel Cleary, NBC4. The Franklin County Coroner's Office identified the teenagers shot and killed at Easton Town Center Sunday night as 15-year-old Rashawn Carter. Columbus City Schools telling NBC4 he was a student in the district, along with the two 13-year-olds arrested in connection with his death. One of the suspects is charged with murdering, tampering with evidence. The other is charged with obstruction of justice. Both have pleaded not guilty in juvenile court.